common thread that winds its way into the shared stories of people who have been touched by the ministry of the certain sounds has been the loving kindness of its founder, Dr. John Gustafson, affectionately known as Gus. When asked when he gets to heaven, who would he most like to meet? He answered, David, because of his heart for God. John shares that heart. Like David, quick to shout out his dependence on God, his strength and weaknesses, and at 91 years and still going strong, always giving God the glory for every breath he takes. Notice throughout this interview how he always has a vision for reaching people. We can do that. The church needs to do that. And his resolution to follow the leading of God. I think I've got the answer to reach these kids and then following through by presenting the gospel in a nightclub. Like Jesus, going into the world to seek and save those who are lost. I'm John Gustafson, and I was the founder of The Certain Sounds and was with them from 1967 to 1975. I went to a concert at Van Nuys High, and the Spurlows were there. The Spurlows was a young American group, and they traveled for Chrysler, and they did school assemblies, and I went to Van Nuys High School and saw them on the track and field there. And then on the following Sunday, they played our church at First Baptist Church of Van Nuys. They played a, a Christian concert. And I said to myself, we can do that. The church needs to do that and send groups out like that. And so that was the way it got all adjourned together that I thought we need to do that. And as a result, we started it. And Rich Masters came up with the name The Certain Sounds, and it stuck. <laughs> was there, were there, you remember the other names that they came up with? I should, but I don't know. Like uh, Sound uh, Generation and... The Young like, Americans. Under well, I remember the Young Americans, and yeah, you sang with them for a while. Yeah, I did. And that was, that was another thing that caused me to think we need to do something like that with The Certain yeah. Sounds. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think you, to use secular music within the program was unique. Was I don't think the Spur were the Spurlows doing that? Yeah, the Spurlows did it. Yeah, and uh, I I had never seen it done like that in a church such a setup. Hmm. You know, with uh, different clothing and off stage, on stage clothing and things like that. So I just knew that would be a great thing for us to reach out to our community. Uh, and it turned out, ended up around the world, not only our community. It was a great thing. Yeah. yeah. God did a lot of great things in 1966 because he led me to a guy in Palm Springs, California, a newspaper man named Jim Schilling. And Dr. Fickett and I went down there to talk to him about the crowds at Palm Springs Easter week. He said they're uncontrollable. And we tried Billy Graham films, and nobody comes. And so he said, we need something to attract these kids. And uh, I said, I think I've got the answer. And uh, so that was how it led us to get the group going. And then in the Easter of 1967, we went to Palm Springs and uh, played at the Chi Chi nightclub. Wow. And uh, it was great. And we had to clean up the club. and get it all straightened up and then invited people to come in off the street and uh, serve them punch and cookies. <laughs> Another little funny thing, we're inside and Dee is outside, my wife Dee, with the bikers. The bikers came by and, and Dee was there giving him out four spiritual law booklets and witnessing to them. They didn't come in, but it was crazy to have them revving up brum, 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 and <laughs> she's out there witnessing to them yeah. so th that's that's the first blitz yeah yeah that's right yeah. that's right right god has been faithful and this will be a time of reunion and renewal so put it on your calendar and better yet register by visiting the facebook page the certain sounds tours reunion 2015 all the information you need is posted there. Sign up and register now.